last time on Dragon Ball Z. Wait, no. This is Final Fantasy VI. Hey everybody, welcome to a special bonus episode where today we will be taking a trip down memory lane. And for such an occasion, I have the family party here. Okay, so Terra's not really family, but I always thought her and Shadow should have gotten together had he not died in the ending. Spoiler alert, Shadow dies. But why would you be watching this if you haven't already seen the main LP? Hmm. Anyways, what I want to do today is show you guys all of Shadow's dreams. And in order to do that, all you really have to do is have Shadow in your party and sleep at the inn. And you can do this anytime he's in your party, even in the world of balance. However, I think you only have one or maybe two chances to do so, and it's a very small window of opportunity. Um, so, I decided to just save it for now, when we can do them all back to back to back. Now, I don't remember if they come in order. If they do, great. If not, I'm going to have to do some fancy editing so that you guys can see them in order. So, without further ado, I'm going to take a minute to save here, and we'll get started. What the? Who's that? Some creepy sound effects. Hey, it's Barum. And that guy at the bottom with the cool cape must be Clyde. So this is Shadow's first dream. And apparently his real name is Clyde. Well that dream didn't really tell us anything now did it? Well, let's see if we can't get the second one to trigger right away. Probably not. No, of course not. Alright guys, as usual, you know the drill. I'll be right back. Hey hey, dream number two, alright. Hey, that forest looks familiar. A million gold? What do we have for Johnny? One million dollars. Do you like my game show host voice viewers? Great train robbers of the century. Wait, so Barum and Clyde just robbed a train of a million gold? Wow. Wait, is that a play on Bonnie and Clyde? Hmm. Very sneaky game. So why not call themselves the Wet Bandits? No? How about the Sticky Bandits? No, they went with the Shadow Bandits. So apparently... Clyde used to be a train robber. And again, that fits right into the whole job class system of Final Fantasy. You know, thieves always upgrade to ninjas. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Things look pretty ominous this time. Hey, 
hey, that's at the end of Baron Falls. Well, this would explain how Shadow was so familiar with the area back on Sabin's scenario. Oh man, looks like Barum is uh, pretty worse for wear there. Ah. It looks like pizza ordered out for them. Wait, use your knife and do what? You're not gonna tell us, are you, game? Ah, they are going to, well, sort of tell you. I like that, though. They don't come out and say, hey, I, I want you to kill me. So, you know, parents are freaking out about it. But, you know, if you're old enough, you get the idea of what's going on here. I like his sprite there. It's too bad this is the only time we get to see it in the game. Oh man. Would you be able to kill your best friend viewers? Honestly, would you? I don't know if I could bring myself to do that if I were in that situation. But um, yeah, it looks like uh, Barum died and Clyde wasn't able to fulfill his last wish, which is what he was referring to in the ending there. Although killing yourself doesn't seem like the best way to make amends there, Shadow. Er, Clyde. Well, when we come back, we have... Yes, there's one more dream we could see. Hey, this looks like the Massa. Oh, it looks like Shadow was hurt too. Thema uh, what? The ma what? Yeah, it's the Massa. No sense beating around the bush here, viewers. Now, Shadow's fifth and final dream is viewed when you recruit him in the cave on the Velt in the World of Ruin. Unfortunately, I no longer have my save file anywhere near that. But if you'll recall, it shows him leaving Strago's house being followed by Interceptor, and he says that he wants Interceptor to stay behind and look after the girl, and then he leaves. Now, they never come out and tell you what exactly happens, but essentially, Shadow made his way to Thamasa after being injured, and while he was staying there resting, at some point, he raided the panties of Realm's mom, and, well, out came Rel. Um, they never explain what happened to her mother either. I'm assuming she either died at childbirth or when Realm was very, very young. But that's the gist of it. He had a relationship with Strago's daughter at some point or another. And the reason Shadow gives for leaving is he doesn't want Realm to grow up being a part of his lifestyle. Couldn't you just you know, stop stealing things and live a normal, peaceful life in Thamasa? I mean, wouldn't that make the most sense? Rather than abandoning your child? I don't know if that's any different in the original Japanese context. I don't know, I've never played the game, and even if I did, I don't know how to read Japanese, so it wouldn't do me a whole lot of good. But yeah, that's, that's basically the history of Shadow. He is Realm's father. And Strago's, I guess, son-in-law, even though they were never married. 
Uh, now there is also a... Oh, real quick. Um, this is why I said, um, or I questioned when Shadow told Kefka he's learned the value of family and friendship. I mean, did he really? I mean, he fought alongside his daughter and never mentioned it. Never came out and said, oh, you know, by the way, I'm your dad. You know, you would think he would want to be a part of her life, even though, you know, she would be really pissed off and probably hate his guts for a little while. But, I mean, wouldn't you want to be, you know, a part of your own daughter's life? I mean, come on, it's Rel. How cute and adorable is she? What's the worst that could happen? Aside from her drawing your portrait, that is. Hmm, maybe I'm being a little too hard on Shadow. No, anyways, I think it's a bullshit excuse because, like I said, he could have just as easily retired from being a thief. But no! Now, little known fact is that if you let Shadow die on the floating continent, you'll find Realm in the Cave on the Velt. And when you go back to Thamasa, she will have a dream instead, and that is actually the sixth and final dream in all of these sequences. That means you can never see all the dreams in one playthrough because, well, having Shadow means you don't get Realm at that cave and vice versa. Now in that dream, again, I don't have a, a save file with Shadow being dead and Realm in that cave. Um, basically, it just shows Interceptor and Realm and Strago in Strago's house. And Realm says, Daddy, Daddy's coming home, isn't he? And that Interceptor barks a few times and runs out the door, and Realm falls to the, her knees. And then Strago just kind of looks down over her. Um, I'm assuming she's crying. And this takes place as Sh uh, Shadow or Clyde is leaving the village. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. And if you really, really want to see it, um, do a search on Google or here on YouTube. I'm sure somebody somewhere has uploaded all the video or the dream sequences for you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I want to show you guys in this episode. So as always, I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this video and learning about Realm, Strago, Shadow. And uh, th thank you for watching. So I hope you have a good day and uh, take care.